this garage, this space here is, is about uh, 20 feet by 20 feet. Uh, okay, take that back. I think it's like 22 feet. Then behind that door right there, I got another six feet. And that over there is a walk-up attic. And I got my computer stuff here. Here, these are my... Uh, Corgan Beaver and Duck mini bird houses that are in uh, getting worked on. And then drill press. I got a couple edge sanders and my sand and Harbor Freight sander, scroll saw. This is my table saw that uh, I got a garage sale for 150. It's a Sears Craftsman contractor saw, three horse belt driven. But I liked it because of the fence. The fence is very nice. And so I was real thrilled to get it. These are a lot of my bird houses that I've been working on. And also some stepping, uh, some step stools with handles. And then I have a drill press over there, another Craftsman tool. Paid $100 for that. Here's some 7 8 thick by uh, one, about seven and a half inches wide by six feet tall cedar. There's one of my rustic bird houses. A, cra a uh, Craftsman radio arm saw. Uh, what was it? Uh, Twenty dollars. Here's a bunch of fencing that I make the rustic birdhouses out of. Back there is my planer. It's um, say uh, what was it? Um, Dewalt? No, Delta. Delta planer for a uh, hundred dollars. I got it off of Craigslist, of course. And this here is a chop saw without no guard on it, which is real freaking dangerous. So I'm still working on making a, gra a um, guard or finding one. This is actually an older Makita chop saw that it's built just like a Makita, but it doesn't have their name brand on it. But everything about it, I've seen the same one on the internet that was a Makita labeled. Then uh, we got over here, we got some other junk stuff. I made my racks up here with a French cleat. This here is a bunch of fencing. You know, it's, uh, it's only about, I think, three-eighths thick or so, maybe started out half inch and then have here is my tools some of my tools this cart down here paid ten dollars for that this here is all my fencing that I use for my bird houses I make that on the radio arm saw and a router table. Let's see. Oh, and then this is my bandsaw. That was a nice deal for a hundred bucks. It's a tilting head bandsaw, which it makes it real nice. And then over there is my general vac, which I paid a hundred dollars for that. Got all these tools pretty much off of Craigslist. Yeah, I got, well, I guess, you know, this compressor I picked up at uh, Oregon Surplus. It's been a while, and I don't even remember what I paid for it. And, um, oh, here's a real nice find that I, I got at the Goodwill. R rigid. It shoots uh, two and a half inch nails and 
shoots uh, framing nails. I paid thirty dollars for that, plus a box of nails of each. There's some of my routers underneath there, but I've been slowly but surely fixing stuff up here. I got some non woodworking stuff in here, and oh, I picked up this. 240 volt heater. That was a good deal. And uh, I've had this furnace, this uh, electric furnace in here for a while. So we like that. So that's about it. Thank you for watching this video.